So if you're like me and you like fats and carbs a little too much, if you struggle with dietary discipline, this video is for you. Every single food on the planet, no matter what you're eating, has two parts. It is protein and energy. And the energy is made up of carbs and fats. And one way to look at foods is by considering their protein to energy ratio. Some foods, like fish for example, are pretty much all protein and have very little energy. Other foods, like eggs, this ribeye steak, cheese, they have protein, but they also have some fat, so they have some energy. Refined carbohydrates and fats have almost no protein and all energy. When we eat mostly protein, we are mostly protein. And when we eat mostly energy, we are mostly energy. Even vegetables, like these carrots, have lots of sugar, lots of carbs. Same with these potatoes. And these apples have lots of sugar in them as well. But we don't really need to worry about things like carrots, potatoes, and apples because of fiber. If we love carbs and we love fats, we need to make sure we're getting enough fiber. You see, most of these mostly energy foods have been refined and stripped of all of their fiber. And this causes the problem. I'm not making any of this up. You can look it up yourself. Health benefits of fiber. If you have diabetes or prediabetes, fiber is your friend because it helps with blood sugar control and weight management. Fiber controls your blood sugar, it protects your heart. Fiber prevents your body from taking in some fat and cholesterol. That sounds good. Fiber is amazing for your digestive health. It helps improve gut health. I've done a lot of videos on gut health. Fiber is what keeps you feeling full and helps with weight management. You see, it's not about weight. Most people think it's about weight. Do you really care about the number on the scale or do you care about your health? You see, when we eat mostly protein, we are mostly protein. And the added muscle makes our bodies much more forgiving when we're eating carbs and fats. But like me, if you're not a muscle man, then it is especially important that you get lots of fiber. If you're going to have bread or pizza or french fries, it's especially important that you have fiber first. Food makers have been taking fiber out of our food, and this has led to a diabetes epidemic, an obesity epidemic, and a bunch of other health problems. Protein and fiber are very satiating, and that satiety helps me fill up so that by the time it's time to eat this stuff, I'm already full. Now, if you struggle with dietary discipline like I do, and it's hard for you to get a lot of whole vegetables, fruits, herbs, seeds, get all that fiber into your diet, and because I'm somebody who likes carbs and fats a little bit too much, I've been supplementing before the carbs and the fats with different types of plant fiber. This has been a game changer for me and might be helpful for other people who struggle like I do.